Right, today I just wanted to look at uh, some of the cool stuff you can do with Active Directory users and computers uh, and the fact that you can extend it. I think it's a, a feature that's massively uh, underused in a lot of admin teams. With a bit of effort you can automate a lot of uh, user setup for example uh, and just make your life easier. So by way of example, here we are with a link server. Uh, this version is 2010 but it's equally applicable to 2013. Um, and in the control panel that's where we can configure and enable users. Now what we can do by extending the users and computers um, console we can enable uh, the configuration of link users actually directly within this console. So by way of example here we are in users and computers you can see I've got all our demo users set up. If I right click on one of them you'll see I've got an option there for enable for link 2010. So if I'm going to select that There we go, it's uh, done some work and come back. So let's have a look now in our um, control panel for link, refined, and we'll see that our user's enabled. Okay, so just to show you that again, we'll pick another user. Let's go for Loopy Loo this time. Right click, enable for link 2010. There we go, have a look in here. And we'll see our users now enabled. So as you can see by extending the console you, you can drive um, the productivity and the, the ease of, that you can get things done very very simply. The extension is pretty easy to do as well. Um, if we look in the Add See Edit here, I'll just show you where this is. We're going to look under Configuration and under Display Specifiers. The one you want is 409. There we go. And the one we're looking to modify uh, is the user display. So in here there's something called admin context menu. There we go. And you can see all I've done is added another option. Okay. Um, and in there you'll see that we've got a description which is enable for link 2010 and a link to a script. And that script is a small VB script um, which launches, uh, configures the users in PowerShell and um, yeah, sorts everything out for you. It's very, very simple to do. You can modify that script, of course. So at the minute, all this is doing is just enabling a user for instant messaging and presence. Okay, but obviously you can enable that script so it'll do other things for you, like enable your enterprise voice or assign relevant policies for all kinds of things. It's a very, very powerful way of doing things um, and it can make things far easier for your admin team as well. Anyway, I thought you may find that useful. I'll, I'll cover the script in a little bit more detail in the blog and just show you how you, how you can enable it, but uh, it's well worth the investigation.